Algebra 2 EOC practice test number 20. The graph shows the exponential growth of the number of organisms in a petri dish over a 12-hour period. To the nearest whole organism, how many organisms are expected to be in the petri dish at 15 hours? So you can see in the table here that it's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and these numbers are growing. Um, it looks exponential. If you look at the graph, it also looks like it's getting ready to grow exponentially. So what we need to do is take these and put them in our calculator. So if you have your graphing calculator, you can go to Stat and then Edit. We want to put these numbers from the table in our table in the calculator. So I'm going to put 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So go ahead and put L1 from your time would be your L1 column. And then the number of organisms um, is going to be your L2. So it's going to be your second list. So 25, 36, 52, 68, 88, 104 and 151. And always make sure that you have the same number of um, the same number in your L1 and your L2. So the columns need to have the same amount of numbers in there. And you can see that 12 and 151 line up. So these both have the same number. All right, so then go back to stat, go over to calculate. And since we assume this is going to be exponential, and we don't actually have to assume, if we go back up here, the graph shows the exponential growth. So we just need to locate exponential. And um, it looks like 0 is exponential regression. It's going to pull from our list 1 and list 2. That's what we want. So we're going to enter through this and ask it to calculate an equation. All right, so with this, we're going to have y equals 27, and it's a times b to the x power. So that's our equation. All I'm doing is taking a and b and plugging it in. So I'm going to times that by 1.15, and it says um, to the x power, and in this case, we want to know to the 15th hour, so we're going to put in a 15 here. All right, if you take your calculator, you can evaluate that. Remember, you do exponents first, and then you multiply by the 27 after that, and you're going to get a roughly 200 and, oh, sorry, I forgot the one here. That's 1.154. That'll make a difference when you plug it in your calculator. So 27 times 1.154 raised to the 15th power, and you're going to get about 231. So down here below, it's going to say, enter your answer in the space provided. So you're just going to put 231. So there's two, uh, roughly 231 organisms after 15 hours in that Petri dish. So the answer to number 20 is 231.